Shout out to Marco Pedrana, Alfredo Jr., Noble Brown, AMG, Dan Real, Hamada Akusa, Steven Josephson. Welcome back Game of King family to another F1 Clash video. In today's video, we're on the Turkish Grand Prix opening round. Uh, and we're going to be getting our first five races done. As you know, we normally do our first five races uh, here for the Turkish Grand Prix. Uh, and then for the opening round, I should say, and then uh, we'll do our last five races for the final round, which is tomorrow. All right, so let's jump straight into it. Uh, first track up, Melbourne, Australia. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and turn your post notifications as we're closing in on 13k subs, uh, which we will be giving away 3600 bucks slots to three lucky winners uh, so make sure you're subscribed turn your post notifications and help us get there so we can give away some free bucks to you guys all right you'll be matching with thang nice first time i'm matching with thang here thang has been doing really well so we're gonna get out qualified by thang uh he has higher level parts i believe let's see but since we can match with thang uh, that means our parts are at good levels as well I see the qualifiers should be in the top five both of us I see we getting out qualified there oh no top five seven eight for Thang uh, 11 13 for us all right let's go see if it's his bot or if he's the real player 24 seconds start so we can't tell just yet it right, looks like his bot as a real Thang I doubt would put on hard tires there So it looks like it is his bot. All right, let's watch our drivers. All right, we're stuck between a good amount of hard soft tires, so we're not going to pick up any position there. Uh, as they move through and pick off the hard tires, let's go down to conserve right about there. Seems to me that Hutch has been making some changes with the tires, uh, and they have been. Uh, Making some changes to hard tires because hard tires seems from since yesterday I've noticed the hard tires seems to be a bit different uh, from when the new update just launched a few days ago. Seems to me that the hard tires are holding stronger and performing better uh, than they were doing previously. Don't know if you guys have also noticed that. Get some boost on our drivers here. Let's got them down there. Haven't gotten. Okay. Come on, science. Almost got that overtake. Got the boost too early. All right, let's go. But boost by pit. We can catch those that are gone to pit. Let's see if we can pull on Vettel there. There we go. Nice pull from Verstappen here. We're gonna keep the boost going on him keep the boost going on signs we're going back to pit we're going to softs let's keep the boost on them push them in let's see if we can go for a late pit order here oh oh come on we forced miss pit late pit caused us to miss pit there so we'll just have to boost around but i got it in right just in time so it, because he was pushed wide Hence, he did not get to just swing back in. Uh, it is what it is. We're now on zero tires going around. We're going to keep that boost on him as he goes around on zero tires. While we keep the boost on signs so he can come and catch up. All right. Going to pit now. And there he goes out. So though we made a, a bit of a mis mistake on the late bit technique there, 
uh, we still managed to make it through. Alright, we're going to keep that boost on signs for another lap. We should be able to get another lap from Carlos Sainz here. Let's go Sainz. So as I was saying, it seems to me like the hard tires have been putting up a better job uh, versus the softs. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that, but it seems that way to me. Right, let's cut Sainz down there. So he does not run out of tires, put it in his go to pit orders for his final stop. We should go to pit with Verstappen here for his final stop as well. Once again, we're going for a late pit on. Got him this time. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We got it just perfect. So, unless they change something. About the late pit order, about going to pit, go to pit orders. We got it perfect just a while ago, so I don't know how he missed pit again, and it was perfectly timed. All right, let's boost signs from there, and let's boost in Verstappen. Hopefully he can get out back in fourth place. Let's see. Come on, pit crew, go, 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 go. Well, three, eight, three. That's a very long stop. So we got back out in six. All right, no worries. It was a great race. Two miss pit in there. Thirty-two points. No worries. This is the opening round and not the final. So. I'm going to change the setup though, because if it's going to match against players like Thang, that means it's a very strong setup. It's pulling big matches. Thang is using Kimi and Vettel, level 10 and level 8 I guess. Let's look at the drivers. Yep, level 10 and level 8, Kimi and Vettel. Alright, let's jump into the next race. Here we go for our next one on Brazil. You see what qualifiers are going to be wet. Uh, we have Verstappen and Sainz, so we should get a good, decent qualifiers, unless the rival has Hamilton and somebody else. There we go. Alright, so 10 to level for us. 15, 16 for him. Uh, it's going to be a wet race, so let's go. Our drivers are pretty decent at wet. They're not in the hundreds, but they're in the 90s. So they should be fine. 10, 11, uh, P15, P16. Alright. Let's go Verstappen, let's go Carlos. Carlos got stuck there, Verstappen picked up a few. Right, let's cut down there and cut down there. Come on, Science, hold your positions. Give back Science some support. As he lost that one, he then lost it again. He retook re take it and then he lost it again. Bipolar weather. Okay. Good defense from Verstappen there. You see Call of Science struggling here to hold his position. So we're going to give him some boost, perk him up, get him to defend. Yeah, he's struggling. Let's keep the boost on him for at least a lap. Let's give him a boost down the main straightaway here. And see what we can come up with for him. We can get him to pull in front, probably get some defense done. Oh, so he's getting stuck. We're stepping up to P7 so far. And we're just going to allow him to go because we want to go for more laps as the weather 
is going to change to cloudy in a second here. Now let's just boost them for this lap and then we'll come back to pit. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, we're just boosting into pit from here. Then we'll come back to wets and we'll boost from there. Not a lot coming into the pits. Go, go, go. No stock in. Little stock in there. All right. First stop and still got to jump on those who are in the pits. And we are right behind that number 14 car. There we are. All right. Now we're going to boost. And then once it's, it starts to dry out, because it's cloudy behind, it's going to take a little time to dry out. See the rival already gone to hard tires. Not the best decision at this point. If it was like below 60, then you could go for hearts, but at 70, it's a bit too much for hearts. It's going to take a little time to get up, to get around to below 50 so those hearts can pick up grip. See, we just lapped him. Still not at 50% just yet. We're keeping that boost for the seven. We could cut down to conserve here for the seven and cut down to conserve here with signs so we don't go back to pit. Uh, oh, low fuel, it's not a breakdown for signs. Okay. Yeah, what I'm doing here in this lap is saving some of that tire. Now we got that breakdown with signs. Yeah, we can't go back to pit right now, so we're going to have to just go uh, with signs to the end with his breakdown. If we go back to pit now, he's going to lose so much positions. It, will, it isn't going to even be funny. So we'll just cut him up to regular driving and let him push uh, to the finish line. And he'll lose some positions, but he have good distance on that number 11 car. So he should be able to finish in P10. And let's boost for stop into the finish. Up here they come catching him up. And they squeeze by. Yeah, we're just gonna cruise around. There's nothing much we could do uh, with signs here with that late breakdown. Late breakdown is like a pain now. Uh, so nothing else we could do. Just let him go to the finish and hold his position. There we go. 12 p12 and he ran out of fuel out the line as well <laughs> all right so 5 and 12 for that finish oh now we can look at the car in the pits nice <laughs> nice normally normally the game camera would have switched and oh now we can't yeah it, it just switched back and now we can't <laughs> all right let's jump into the next race 33 points for us there again it is the opening round, so no problem. If you have been wondering the setup that we've been using to pull these strong rivals, there it is. That's the one. We're going to switch it up now to a different setup to see the performance compared to this setup. All right. Here we go for our next race. We're on Canada. Uh, so I'm hoping to see the qualify. I did change the setup here. I uh, made a little adjustment just to see uh, the difference in performance uh, to that previous setup that we were running uh, with this setup. And then for that final race, we might put on another setup uh, to see how that works. All right. So there we go. 2-4 in qualifiers. Arrival got a 1-6 with Kimi and Russell. That's the kind of qualifiers we want to see. Looks like a real rival here as well. As you can see, the rival started the match really fast. So it definitely looks like a real player here. Let's see. <clears throat> Alright, so there he is starting off with boost at the front. Come on, signs, hold that position. Oh, come on, signs. Signs went wide there. Rival cutting down. We're not going to cut down. We're at the front of the pack. We don't cut down at the front of the pack, Mr. Rival. You 
boost at the front of the pack to create distance. Don't do conserve at the front. You do conserve whenever you're in the middle. Let's see. Now he's following. He's picking up. He realized that we're not conserving at all. So we're just going to boost and create distance on him. Signs struggling here to get by Verstappen. Also on softs. Let's try to cut down technique there. Boost back up. All right, we've creating we're creating nice distance with Verstappen here. While we see signs getting stuck on the right, an AI Verstappen not being able to create uh, keep up with that number two car because he's stuck here. Now right, we're gonna go back to pit to softs. But we have that nice little distance on the rival. All right, he's going around for another lap. Which is kind of good news for us. So we're going to cut to conserve here. Go, go, signs, go, go, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. All right, we got the jump on Verstappen with signs. And we're going to cut them down to conserve here. Rival should run out of tires before going back to pit. There he goes, out of tires. Now he's boosting down the straight. We'll just boost behind him down the straight. He suffers a breakdown as well because of running zero tires, I guess. Let's see if we can fly by him with that breakdown as well. Cut down there, cut back down here with Verstappen. We want to try to use Science as a roadblock to hold his Kimi off, uh, but no, Science is not having it today. He's not holding anything up. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, let's boost Verstappen from there, bringing him back into pit. Let's boost Signs from about here as well. We don't want that Kimi to leave Signs an inch, so we're boosting him to come back to pit. Hamilton, so we're all on sauce up up front. You see, Verstappen has created a huge amount of lead for himself. So it's just a matter of Signs now. Keep him sticking close to that Kimi, getting by him even. There we go. So he can go to pit and get the jump. And we're going to cut down there. Science calling out for low fuel. We're going to cut down there and cut down there. Cut to regular driving for both our drivers. The rival should go back to pit. If not, he's going to run the zero tires to the finish. So we should be good to go. We can cut to conserve here. Cut to conserve here. If he doesn't go to pit, he's going to run zero tires. Yep, there he goes running zero tires. Yeah, he's going to boost those. Uh, they're going to run out of tires really soon. So we need not to worry too much. Yeah, his Kimi is going to run out of tires at any point here. Yep, there we go. Kimi running out of tires. His Russell should run out of tires as well. We just need to watch this number five car here coming on signs. Give him some boost, cut him back down. And then we boost him back across the line. Great race, bro. Good luck. All right, 45 points for us. But yeah, this setup. Give us a better match. It's not pulling too strong of a rival. Uh, Level, oh, level 10, Kimi, level 10, Russell. So to match with level 10 commons, or level 8 signs and level 6, Verstappen is pretty fair. It's basically trade off fair, has a fair match in the end. Let's jump into the next race. Here we go, Silverstone. 54% chance of rain. I did not switch drivers. I was going to switch out signs, but... Uh, then I just left him and it's a wet qualifier. He should still qualify in a good position uh, with Verstappen nonetheless. Verstappen wetness ability is at 90 something. Uh, so there we see holding good 13, 14 qualifiers here. With the same setup, we just qualified 2 4 wit. <laughs> so yeah, let's jump into the race.
This looks like a real player. As you see, the timer has passed 20 seconds. So he must have been putting on some boost there. Yeah, we don't need boost just to open it around. But I see. There he goes, putting on his boost. <laughs> Good luck, bro. And putting boost on Russell for more wetness ability. It's just like a waste of a wetness ability boost there. But it's up to him. It's his account. <laughs> he can take the win. This is the opening round anyways. Alright, let's go. See what we can do. Alright, so we're going for a 3. We could go for a 1 stop and go 4, 3. Uh, here, as it's going to be... Should be a full wet race. This party Cloudy is going to come up to the end. So we could go for a one stop or we could go for a two stop here. Which one would be the better one to go? Mm. Yeah, we might go for four laps. Yeah, let's just go for four laps here and then come back around. And rival tire management looks nice. Uh, looks like he's going to go for three laps with the tires, with those tires. As you can see, his Russell has, and Kimi has good tire management, and they're pretty worn at this level. So I guess he's driving on regular driving, possibly, uh, while we're driving on conserve. This boost here and here as he goes into pit. Alright, so he skipped with Kimmy. He went in with Russell. We're going to boost by all of them. Got them. Cut down. Cut down there. Then we're going to come back. Ah, come on, Signs. What's that? Look at this. What's going on with Signs? Signs like he just parked his car. What happened? What happened there with Signs? I don't even know. I don't even know what happened with Signs a while ago. Signs just basically parked his car like it's, he was on blue flags or something. I don't even know. Right, let's let uh, Verstappen continue to conserve in so he does not run out of tires going on his way in. And we'll boost him on the exit. Stock a little later. I don't know what happened a while ago to Carlos Sainz. I don't know. And why are my drivers stuck in the pits and it's not even like it's fast pit time? It's only when fast pit time your driver is stuck in the pits. So I guess that's some form of glitch there. Because uh, it's, not, it's not fast pit time. It's 3 point something seconds. So we shouldn't be getting stuck in the pits there. Now we're just boosting to the finish. Hopefully we can pick up some positions. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this this game. This this match was this race was a little bit uh, glitchy to me. Don't know. Drivers parking their car on the side of the road, letting everybody by. <laughs> that was crazy. I wonder if that's what you guys have been experiencing and saying that you've been getting. It's like your drivers are parking. Uh, to the side. I wonder if that's what you meant. Possibly first time I'm experiencing that. Oh, Kimi came back to pit and he just went out there. It's like we are not even on the track. We couldn't even caught up, catch up, nothing. <laughs> Great race, bro. Well done. Good luck, bro. Alright, so we'll take our score at the end, whatever score we get, we'll take it. It is the opening round at the end of the day and not the finals. If this was the finals, I would be so, so mad right now. <laughs> if this was a finals race, I would be so mad. 
right now to see my car. My driver just parked his car uh, and allow everybody to like three cars to just fly by. Like, what was that? Twenty-two points for us. All right, let's look at the setups. Level nine Kimmy, level nine Russell. That was strange. And he's going for a good power setup there, power and arrow setup. And we were on the power level setup. Yeah. All right, let's draw in our final setup and get our final race done. All right. Here we go for a final match on France. Uh, we did change the setup to an, another setup that I have been testing. Uh, so let's see how this first setup will perform uh, versus that first one and versus the power level setup. I see. So in this video, you got all of three setups. <laughs> so that's nice. And as you can see, this setup 7 9 in qualifiers, top 10. So we didn't get uh, at, and straight up at the top qualifiers but we did get top 10 so let's go nice start from ore drivers well what a start 2-3 right off the bat so we're going to keep that boost on them and see if they can get by Lewis Hamilton here. Zeon Hards are softs, softs. So he's gonna put up a little bit of a fight when he comes to defending. I wonder if I can slingshot Verstappen to go at him. All right, we got him, we got him. That's interesting that I just thought about it. I'm gonna try that test that in one of these in one of these races so since you can uh like do uh team orders to let one of your drivers go by uh if you got like both drivers behind a driver if you do like a team order with the first one uh will the second one swing by at a, such a speed that he would uh, overtake the first the car in front as well that's what i was thinking about if you're wondering Right, let's go to pit here. Let's go team. Need Verstappen signs out. There we go. Come on, jump. Yep, got the jump. Now right, we'll cut them down to conserve from here. Who's that up front with hards? Oh, it's Leclerc on softs. Interesting. See Verstappen on defense, shipping off Hamilton to the side there. Leclerc still have tires to go in. Let's boost by pit here with both our drivers. So we can pop, get by Leclerc in pit. Then we cut them back down. And Leclerc on another pair of softs, he did three laps, so he's going to go back to pit in the six. Well, Hamilton should go back to pay in the fifth or in the fourth here. Another thing to think about since Sainz is like way ahead, if I like boost Verstappen here, does Sainz slow down to allow Verstappen to catch up and pass? I doubt it. It only works if they're close together, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Only if they're like close together. That's when it works. All right, we're going to be boosting sign after here. Let's boost signs. Bring back the softs. And we'll just let Verstappen conserve. Hamilton has gone to pit, so Leclerc will be going to pit in the next lap. Which is going to be the sixth. Unless Leclerc wants to come to pit now. Yes, he does. So we should get a jump on him. We're going to come back out. Yeah, we got the jump. 
or did he come back out on hard so we can stay on conserve and go to the finish on our softs here for a one two finish yeah but it seems to me that hard tires have gotten some adjustment seems to me that some adjustment has gone on uh, in the mechanics of the game Yes, too many people were complaining about breakdowns but the thing is that and complaining about the soft tires being too fast than the hard tires uh, but the thing is that we didn't see any any changes when it comes to breakdowns uh, so i guess they just fixed the mechanics when it comes to the hard tires versus the soft tires to give the soft tire the hard tires a little more chance uh, against the, the softs all right Use code word pit stop down in the comments to let me know that you made it to this portion of the video. Really appreciate you guys who watch the full videos for all your support. Uh, appreciate you so much for all your support guys. Uh, remember to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and you've made it to this portion of the video. Also remember to smash the like button if you haven't already smashed the like button uh, at this portion. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And yeah, hopefully these setups help you guys in your event. So this one was like the first one too. We've got all event with testing setups. I don't normally like to share setups at the end of the video, but I'm going to share this one with you guys. Watch the full video. Appreciate you guys. All right, so nice one too here. A ton of fuel remaining that we could have been boosting. Creating distance on the rest of the pack going back to pit for a free pit stop, but yeah, we just take it the easy road uh, By conserving to finish as the rest of the pack was on hard tire, so they weren't going to catch us up Waiting for the rival to finish Let's take some screenshots here for the thumbnail Yeah, get in the shot rival. Get in their rival. Nice. Nice. There we go. All right. So let's look at the setup real quick. And then we'll jump to level 10 again. Yeah, nice setup from the rival. I love in this setup the rival has on. Nice and balanced. Let me take a screenshot of that. I might steal that setup. <laughs> that one looked nice and balanced. I like it. Let's see where we're finished uh, after our first five races. 200 and what? So there we are. Wow. 183 after our first five races. Not even 200. <laughs> Uh, that's crazy. Not even 200 for our first five races. 183. All right. So appreciate you guys for all your support. As you know, we're going to go with the GP strategy. So, uh, yeah. Later on, I'll finish my qualifiers. Pick a nice little spot there to get qualified in. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys do good in your event let me know down in the comments how you guys did uh, in your opening round how was your races and stuff and yeah catch you guys in the next one peace take care walk good guys